Hello everybody, I'm down in the garage again. I um it's all nice and clean. I've got the white van in. She's in this is where she lives now when she's off the road. But I'm thinking of making a little fire, only a small one. Something that I'd either burn um charcoal or small bits of coal or maybe a drip feed, diesel or or dirty oil. But to start, I'm gonna start off by finding out what I've got to use. Okay, so I've got three of these. As I say, my boat's only a 20 foot um, yacht, and only 10 foot of that is cabin. So I've got three of these. One I can actually cut and cannibalize for fire, and the other one I can use to get bits off to make doors and traps and things. Okay, let's see how we can do with that. Okay, first things first, I've axled the end off of the um, one of them, and now I'll um, drill that out. That has to do for the chimney flue. Sorry to say I can't um I can't do it on my turret drill because of the um the height I won't get the depth in these so I have to persevere with the drill. That's one drill out. Okay. That's the first bottle that I do for the doorway. Okay, going from experience with my big one, the burn chamber I go down here and do the last chamber on the bottom. And we've got to figure that out yet. And this I'm going to turn into like a little chute that you open up, chuck the stuff in, and then shut it. Okay, so we're taking this as we go, so just um, bear in mind I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. I never make plans, roughly in my head, but that's the door I cut out of there. That's going to be the fire. Now I want to make some sort of door that'll go like this, but with a chute on it so that I can load the stuff in there and shell it. But now, marking out on this one, I want plenty of, when I cut this, cut this door out of this one now I want it to have plenty of area so as it shuts tight gas tight around there I got a gas seal I can put around there so let's cut that door out of here mark it out and see how it goes okay so there you go I'd mark the door out now I'll cut that out and then that bit there would be the door for on here and we, as I say we're playing with this as we go okay so there you go I've now cut that out of that one and now that comes on that one as a door and it's got enough room all the way around it for a gas seal to be put on and this this now I'm hoping to go like that let me show you let me just add before I carry on um, this little bit of metal where I've just cut it out is hot anybody who says this won't be big enough for a burner you only want to come in my shed now, it's quite cold in this shed, and you stand here and hold your hand there and you can feel the heat coming off of that. Go over there, wave your hand around and it's cold. Come over here, wave your hand around, it's warm. So if that's just warm and I can hold that no trouble, you might know how warm it's going to be when there's a big bundle of coal from there to here, in there glowing away. Anyway, this now I'm hoping to make a little hatch now. So this will fit on gas tight once I've um, shaped it up. It won't go on very good at the moment because you've got all this plastic, this plastic, this plastic on here is pretty thick. But hopefully when this is done that'll go on similar like that. And it'll open up like that and there'll be a, sh be a chute on it. So when it opens up you just chuck the coal in the little hole there. And then you shut it back up. Anyway, let's see how it goes. I'll make, I've got to clean, the, clean this off now, I'll get my gas gun and burn it off. This, um, getting the label off is slow and tedious, but the thing is, well, I'll just ground this and cut the lids out. There's sparks been on the floor, obviously, so I never leave a workshop for at least 15 minutes after I've done any sort of cutting. Or, or like hot stuff we call it 
So while I'm doing this, it'll give me the 10 minutes I need to check. There's nothing catching fire. And then I can go and get a nice cup of tea. Hopefully that's the, uh, the little doorway uh, sits on there a lot better now, look. Sorry, the other way round. Sits on there a lot better now. See that, that now will go like that. And all I've put on here is a breather a hole. I've got a, a, a one here I might be putting on, but uh, we'll see as we go. As I say, we're working it, it might be a waste of time, but we're trying. Now we got um, some white spirits. If we just um, wipe the label area over. Sorry if, if I'm not keeping the camera very well lined up, but the, um, it's not like a camera, it's a phone. And the phone is a joke. Anyway, there we are, we've taken the, uh, there's the lid. Give that a rub. I'll take all the glue off it and show you what after. Okay, so I've cleaned all the plastic off and um, that one's ready now. That's going to be the fire, as I say. That's going to be the doorway. Now I'm debating whether to add that. So that opens up like that. But if I have a chute, the chute got to be so as all the coal fires down in there and not sits in the back of there and stops the door shutting. So the chute got to be designed there. Chuck, open like that, chuck the coal in, then that's got to be a shut. Either that or I'm thinking of having it so it slides. But either way it could interfere with dirt and shit and dust. So I could end up going with the old um Anyway, in the meantime, cup of tea. Okay, before I went out to get a cup of tea, I was playing about with the door and um, looking at how much gap I got around the outside. And I decided to go with a bigger door again. So um, I'd marked out another door and you can see it's going to be a lot, lot bigger. It goes from there round. You can see how much bigger it is. And lengthwise, from there, it's going to be that much bigger, top and bottom. But before I make any sparks, I'm going to get this cup of tea. Okay, so there's the new door. There's the, the little one I cut off. As you can see, it's a lot bigger now. It's going to allow for um, a lot more sealer to go around the outside. Okay, now I'm working on the same principle is my big fire I got this. There's the door that opens there one way or another. <laughs> That's that. And then down the bottom now I need another little door that opens up so I can scrape all the ashes out of here. So I've got to see how, how deep a cut I can get there with a small blade and that defines how big this is going to have to be. But it don't matter, we get there. Well as you can see I've just cut that out of that there. Not a lot left in that donut bottle. Yeah, um, you still got a few bits off of him yet though, so put him over there and we'll see how we go. Now we have, and again I've just put this on the grinder to try and square it up, and again it's there, I can feel the heat coming off it, and it's just, you know, it will burn my hands over keep hold of it now. But um, that's going to be the, the dust. So looking at the fire now, we'll have the, the door there for loading the fire up, and that there for opening up to scrape out the um, ashes. Okay, so we got the the ash tray sorted and the main loading door sorted. Now, in between, we need a burner tray here. So I've just got the donor bottle. Thank you, donor. And I've cut the bottom off of the donor. Now I just got to make that. When it cools down again, you're going to feel the heat coming off of that. If you imagine how hot this is going to be. Too hot, I think. Um, that now has got to be sorted and welded in, in there. But first of all, I've got to grind it and get it so it's going to go in, turn around and sit there. Well, there you go. I've got a little burn bowl or a burn tray or burn dish, whatever you want to call it. That goes in there. 
and it will go down and be welded in here but um, for now I've got to come out because I've got to decide whether I'm having that as a, a drip tray if I'm having that as a drip tray above that would be another funnel up inside of here with holes in it as you see on other YouTube sites if not it's going to be a little charcoal burner then this can be as it is but we'll wait and see okay so I played about with some diesel and um, I come to the conclusion we're going to burn charcoal because that now can drop in there that drop inside of there now and that'll burn charcoal and the ashes will be in there if I do want to burn oil I can still add an oil drip on the top and make a tray that fits in and sits inside that so I still left myself with the option further down the line but for now let me clean this up and we we'll see about getting that cleaned down and fit it inside there and then because this this would be sat burn tray would be sat about there in the fire so I'm going to build this up a bit more so is it um, I can get more charcoal high in there we we'll see how we go okay so there's the fire now and the door and the ash door and there's the little burn tray i welded inside there so you can't see very good down inside because but it's tack welded down inside so there's where you chuck all your charcoal in there and it burn thing is now i don't think from there to there, it's not a lot of charcoal, it wouldn't burn for long, so I want to be able to put sort of that much charcoal in and it'll glow really slow and that burn most of the night. Okay, let's see about putting the front in. Okay, so today I'm out here, now we've decided what we want. I've got this other bit now that I'm going to weld in to there which is take the door down, make the door smaller than what it was because we won't want that much. The door will still be as big, but the opening won't be. So uh, I'm going to weld that now and see how we get on. Okay, so I've welded the front in. So um, we've got the grill down there now. So we can put that much charcoal in at a time. And as I said, it's only a, it's a glow, it's slowly burn we've got a little bottom door ready for there and now i've started making hinges for for the door i've run so far as i've got the little hinges like that i'm going to weld them on there now i need to make the other bits to go up off of there i'm going to make them now before i weld it up i'll join them together then do the welding after Well, not looking too clever up close, but um, that's the hinges I've just put on. They're a little bit dirty, they need cleaning up, we've been welded. But, um, and the spot welds are bigger <laughs> than the bloody thing, so it's just a spot weld on her do. Okay, so there's the little door. You need freeing up a little bit, but... Um, that's the door for the uh, main fire. Let me see if I can put it in situ. Okay, so there's the fire as it'll be. The blue will come out of there. And that'll be the front door there, which will open like that. That'll be the burner where it's all burning. You've got that much charcoal. Well, you'll pull it over the top of that, obviously. Charcoal burning, and that'll be your grate for getting the ashes out after. So, um, it's coming on. There's the second inch. I'm only putting one inch on the dust um, tray because the air got to go in there anyway. Just two little catches to put on now, and that's the drum done. Okay, so there's a little fire now, and um, that's the top door. I'm putting the fuel in. And that's the bottom door. We're taking the ashes out. The 
inches a little bit stiff because instead of bolts on them I riveted them so they're tight they have got no play in them that is faced down tight onto the um, base of the fire so hopefully that will be plenty I'll buy a uh, thin bead of fire gun around there very thin just because that is airtight as I say basically so um, there's, a, there's the fire if I can show you this in um, in daylight that's the um, burn door and that is the um, door for the ashes just need two catches on there now then I've got to burn all this plastic paint off the flue and the chimney will go out there and the air intake the only air intake I'll have the same as my big fire is that door if the door shut it just smolder slowly if you open it it'll burn hard screw on there to adjust that okay so here we go we need a little catch and as you can see i've made the catch on there now which opens up ah it's hot it's red hot still opens up and the little door opens when you shut it Lock it down and the door is shut. Might be a good idea to show you it again when it's cold. Okay, so there's the fire. There's this ash emptier. You open that to empty the ash. And this is the one you open to put a coal in. You open that. It opens up. You shut it. You fill your coal in. Before it's lit, you chuck it in. Shut that. Pull that over and it's lit to shut. It's that simple. Okay, seeing as the bottom dust cupboard is only on one inch, it, it's not as flexible, it's not as thick solid as that one. So when it's open, it's okay, it goes out of the way. But when it comes shut, it needs a little tack here to hold it in line. Now I've put the other screw on, ready, similar to this. All I've got to do now is make a little handle, which will take me all of five minutes, two minutes. Well, as I said, it would make me take me all of two, three minutes. There's the catch now for this one. So that opens up, closes down, and it still doesn't interfere with that one. So there you go. Okay, I was going to burn this um, coating off with my gun over there on the, the bench. But um, it takes some bloody burning off, I'll tell you. So I decided to lay a little fire in here and see how we get on. We had to light it with two bloody hands. Now we shut it up and we see what she burns like. This is only going to give me some idea of the, the sort of heat it's going to put out. But uh, it won't be being burnt on wood, obviously. Do you know that is warm as hell already? And you can see how fast it's burning. It's burning slow as hell. If I open that up a little bit, that'll increase it. See, that's how you govern it. You govern the burn down. Let's see how warm that is. Let's see if it's uh, looks more like we've got gas in there. How to light it? I think what you need is a the, the flame on the bottom, not on the top like I just put it. It needs um, a little bit of wood burner, then the coal chuck down. Let's see how that goes now. Can't burn very fast because the amount of air coming out yeah now it's not burning because it's not burning from the bottom okay so it's burning now and um, the trouble is I was putting a flame on top of the, the burn chamber really you need a piece of um, fire lighter chucked in 
then your coals and then let it burn from the bottom up through but um, already this is getting I can feel the heat coming off it and it's cold here today mind I can feel the heat coming off of that and bear in mind this isn't to make the cabin red hot it's just to take the chill off the air um, fingers crossed let's see if it's still burning yeah well that's been burning now for 15 minutes and um, there's quite a bit of heat coming off it and as I say I'm out here in a polytunnel and there's a bloody breeze blowing through but I can feel the heat off of that here and you're talking 18 inches put away but it's still smoking an awful lot so I'd like to get some more air going in at the bottom but I'm wondering if by the time a flue's fitted it might pour and suck the air through anyway well the little stove got so bloody hot and went out that um, it's just making wood gas at the moment so uh, open it up and now the, now the flames down in the bottom again and uh, I just got to get the wood to burn so it keep burning experimental I might have to drill more holes in the burn chamber that's burning quite well at the moment quite a bit of heat coming off it and I ain't really getting up to any temperature yet well at the moment it's burning but um, might have to permanently put some holes in here for vent because that, that little door is not letting enough air in when it's shut it sort of more or less goes airtight it needs a bigger flue and they say it keeps going out but that at the moment is burning turning it to wood gas okay at the moment I've got it burning exactly how it's designed to burn it's just smouldering and it's giving off you can't touch it and it's giving off quite a bit of heat and as I say it's only burning from the top it's not burning from the bottom of the chamber so um, I think it will do what I need I need a bigger flue and I need more air drilled in the bottom let me see about that now Okay, if I wanted to be making wood gas, couldn't go wrong, look at that. Don't want wood gas, I want a fucking fire. Well, I got it burning a little bit fiercer. Um, I've had to uh, bring it out into the polytunnel to burn it. But, um, it's still not burning as good as I would have liked. <sighs> Getting pretty warm now. <clears throat> Again, it's trying to work a two-handed item. Definitely need more air going in the bottom. Oh, that's uh, more smoke than fucking flame, so... It's burning in there now, I can see. But um, it does need more, more air. Okay, this morning I've come out and I've welded um, a little shoe on there. So at least she'll um, sit up right while I'm playing with her. And um, there's the door. I'm now going to load her up with um, charcoal and see what that burns like. And um, hopefully it'll burn because it won't want a flame. Flame uses, you know, a lot of oxygen, whereas smouldering doesn't use much. So um, I'm going to relay it now and see what it goes like. 
So if you can see down inside now, it's actually um, starting to burn clearer. I think with a flu on there, it'll pull the air up more. And we've got to go some more air going in the bottom. Well, she's um, cooled back down now. I um, I can open her up and show you. She didn't burn all the charcoal away, but um, she got to her height and she got hot, but not hot enough for the boat. But she will do for my little van. So I've ordered some flu, and let me show you where I'm going to fit it in my little van. I suppose not all of you have seen my little escort van, and um, so the panel in the back window. And there she be, she's a, a proper little ongoing mini camper, stealth camper I used to call her, but there's no need to be stealth in Britain. But uh, in here, you speed the water bottle. But, um, Condensation's a bit much, so I don't bother now. I, I carry my water in bottles, but this here, this corner comes out. So, what I'm thinking of now is I'm going to put that little burner in there and put a flue up through and out. And for the size of that, I think it'll warm this van up fantastic. The van was originally built with a gas fire that went in there and two vents, but um, I don't very rarely use the gas fire because it, it, the heat travels wrong and um, gas is dear hobby but now I put me power me light me batteries for the back of the van in there now and I used to have a, a tea candle um, holder that used to burn in there and on chilly nights it used to keep the chill off the van bear in mind that when the, the shutters over there here was only the back of the van it had to heat but now I think with that little burner in there as I say, I don't use the water bottle anymore. I think that will do the job. So I think I haven't made one for the boat, but I have made one for my van.